Are your clothes wrinkled? Let me show you the easiest way to steam them so that you can look your best every day. Before you even turn your steamer on, you have to think about where you're gonna do your steaming. I like to do it in my bathroom, but again, pick a space that works for you. Now, in order to do the steaming, you need a hook on the back of your door, and you can pick one of those up at the dollar store. You just place it on the top of your door, and then you can easily hang your garment there. Or if you have one, you can use a clothing rack. And some steamers even come with their own built-in hooks, which is handy, but if you don't have one, this is a quick fix. Steamers are pretty low maintenance, but they do require one thing, distilled water. And you can pick distilled water up at a grocery store, big box store, or even a drug store. The reason you want distilled water is because it doesn't have any minerals in it. And if you've ever used a steamer before and noticed that chalky white buildup, which looks disgusting, by the way, and is hard to clean, that's because whoever was using the steamer before you was not using distilled water. So if you want to avoid that, and I highly recommend that you do, just save yourself the trouble and get distilled water. Now all you have to do is add water to your steamer, plug it in, and power it up. You want to give your steamer a minute or two to heat up before you start using it. And then before you even think about steaming your clothes, you have to hold your steamer up and depress the button and let steam come out for about a minute. Your system has a lot of water built up in it, stuff that's sort of been lingering around since the last time you used the steamer. And that's sort of hanging out there in the reservoir. So you have to let your machine run. You'll see it starts to sputter or cough. <laughs> And that's a good thing. You want that to happen. It's better to happen off your clothing than on your clothing. So once you start to get a nice continuous flow of steam with no sputtering, you're good to go. Now it's time for things to get a little spicy. So you're going to hold your steamer about six inches away from your garment. And you want to hold the fabric taut. And I like to work section by section. So I'll start with the front of a sleeve, then I'll work to the front panel, the other front sleeve, flip it over, do the back and the back sleeves after. So just think about your garment or your shirt in this case in section. So you'll hold your garment taut, you'll run your steamer up and down slowly over the area. If you work too fast, the wrinkles will reform right away. Not a good thing, kind of a waste of your time. So just keep in mind, you wanna give each area maybe about a minute or two to really release any of the wrinkles that are stuck there. And if you go over an area that's super wrinkly, you might wanna hold the steamer just over that wrinkled area without moving too much for about 30 seconds or so, maybe even up to a minute. You really wanna make sure you give the shirt the opportunity for the fibers to relax so that the wrinkle can work itself out. Now remember, you're not going to get crisp crease lines like you would with an iron, but if you wanted to iron, you'd be watching a video learning how to iron. Now remember, you can't steam everything, especially delicate items. So you always wanna test in an inconspicuous area first because if you run steam along a really delicate fabric like silk, you might actually ruin it. Now keep in mind, when you're steaming a garment, you're actually putting moisture right into the fiber. So it's going to be a little bit damp. So you gotta give it a few minutes to dry before you actually put it on. And if you wanna be real fancy, which I totally approve of by the way, you can spritz a little bit of fabric refresher on the garment or even a nice fabric scent. Yes, those exist and just let everything dry at once. A garment steamer is a great investment. I use mine a lot. And once you know how to use it, you can take care of a lot of the wrinkles on your clothing. I can't really help you for what's over here, at least not with a garment steamer. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, feel free to give it a thumbs up or share it with someone who might find it helpful. And remember to subscribe to get more of my videos. Are your clothes wrinkled? Let me show you the easiest way to steam them so that you can look your best every day. Before you even turn your steamer on, you have to think about where you're gonna do your steaming. I like to do it in my bathroom, but again, pick a space that works for you. Now, in order to do the steaming, you need a hook on the back of your door, and you can pick one